The research in my lab is driven to try to understand how the brain cells, the neurons, communicate with each other. So in particular, we focus on the signal detection systems uh, that are called uh, G-protein coupled receptors. And those are very, very important for many neurological and psychiatric disorders. Actually, in fact, 30% of all of the drugs currently approved that you can buy out of the pharmacy work by binding to those receptors. We've been able to discover some new receptors that we're now trying to exploit, working really hard for the therapeutic benefits, um, in particular for treatment of such conditions as depression, addiction, pain, and vision loss. We have a fairly big program in the lab that is dedicated to uncovering how our vision works. In this program, we've also been able to identify new mechanisms for the communication and actually make an advance in understanding how um, those nervous system cells wire and recognize each other so that the meaningful circuit is formed. So that it's not just the detection of the light that it can perceive, but it can actually see images of the world that make sense to the brain. We think that those discoveries may have implication in um, the development of the retina of prosthetics and uh, possibly even you know, augmenting the visual abilities when um, the light sensory cells, the photoreceptors are lost. If you are a brain signal and you're trying to travel from one you know, place to another to deliver a certain message so that the brain can compute, you kind of have to have a roadmap, right? Um, and those roadmaps on the highways uh, that establish the communication between the neurons in the brain are very well established. We just don't understand the underlying principle of where the highway is, is leading us, right? So we basically try and garner this fundamental understanding of, 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 of what's involved in establishing of this network. And once we understand, perhaps we can calculate and uh, understand how the signals travel, we can direct the signals in one or the other way. So for example, in any of the psychiatric disorders, the current thinking is that they result from, um, from basically issues of directing this flow of traffic in, in a meaningful way. Sometimes there is more signal, sometimes there is less of it, sometimes it goes by wrong path. Uh, by knowing how the circuitry is established, perhaps we can come up with a ways of how you know, one can redirect the signal and then correct the flow. So we really think that the implications could be far-reaching. My name is Kirill Martemenov, and I'm the co-chairman of the Neuroscience Department at Scripps Research, based in Jupiter, Florida. Your support could make an important difference in helping us make the next advance.